thanks for staying with us uh, as we are trying to get some comments on social media. You know, when we have this kind of conversation, I remember our current president, President Tinumbu, he's trying to do what he has to, can to fix the economy, to fix Nigeria in a whole. And Nigerians are impatient. We don't want the real work. We just want him to wake up one morning and say, okay, all students, free education. You know, the same way we just take our politicians, give me, give me, give me. I am your, I'm the person that led votes for this community. Do this for me. We all want the, the, the president to wake up tomorrow morning. Okay, you know what? All business owners, take $10 million each. Okay, tomorrow morning, then I'm all um, university students, go to, you know, we just want him to wake up one morning and start dishing out gifts. That's what Nigerians want for them. That is change. Mm. And the same thing we demand of these constituency leaders or these uh, representatives or these are commissioners. Just give us yeah. the real work of building infrastructure. Oh, I want to take this money to build this, to uh, build hospital, to get, increase it. All that one is too much grammar. To them, the company, government is not doing anything mm. until they dish out. Yeah. So that is our mentality. So we are seeing it and we are all here collectively arguing against it. I mean, we're, we're complaining about it in the federal government level. But we all do it in the smaller scale, in different, different ways. Somehow, we all just want somebody just to manage us for things. So is it a problem of the constituents, or is it a Nigerian problem? Mm, it's the constituents now, which are Nigerians. Oh, it's in Nigeria. Oh, no. say, oh, I no, understand. It's, it, everybody okay. joined. But it's because we have sown the seed, and now it's so fresh. Who's going to unsow it? Who's going all to of us, so we're going to do the, the way we started. The surgery it. This, gov this gov president is doing, mm. that we are now, that dollar is now 1,800 naira. And we are all still every day condemning the, are we ready for the work? Because the truth is that for that um, rep representative to say, I'm not going to give you mm. money for your father's burial. Mm -hmm. I'd rather put that money towards something. They will not like him. They may, yes, they will they not like even, They might even bring up what him in. Yes. But if something he has to do, it's the same thing our president is trying to do. I'm like, you know, this guy is not, a dollar is 1,300 naira. So what this man has done is he's given, he's told them what he's going to do. And you're right, many people may not like him, but the people who will make a difference, who can make sure that this is something that is instituted and is part of their culture going forward, and still the constituents. So hopefully he will have more of the people that think like him, who are able to, you know, galvanize votes when the time comes. And then in the, time, in the interim, while he's refusing to pay for little, little things like this, they can see that where work is needed, that he has done the work. And then they'll understand and come to appreciate the importance of having infrastructural facilities on ground over tiny stipends. So that is where we are hoping that we'll go. You also, before the break, you had brought in Abdul Rashid Bawa. So these are still allegations because he hasn't yet been convicted. But yeah. the story is that he may have used his power and his office to acquire wealth that, he, you know, and then somehow invested in his community. And that's why he got the sort of welcome back that he did. And even though that may seem like a positive for him, it's at whose cost? Mm. Whose money did he take? All that money that he took, was that, meant, was that how it was meant to be spent? And of all the money that he took, allegedly... How much of it did he really give back to community? How much did he keep in his own house, in his pocket? So the truth is, there's no good side to doing it that way. It's always a bad thing. When we had, um, who was it that came back from America, uh, from the UK, who had been locked up for all sorts of corruption, yes. And he was welcomed back like that as well. Those of us that were not from Delta states, were looking at people from Delta states like, look at you. Then when your own state and happens, see, then yeah. now, then they, you know, <laughs> everybody, you know, by us, that's the way it happened to them too. Yeah, you know, see, look at you. Right. So we're all, you're right, we're all the same, but oh. we need to change because right. it doesn't serve us at all. Let me take Ishala, then I'll come to you, BC. Ishala, thanks for calling, thanks for holding. Good morning, Ishala, you're live. Hello? Go ahead, BC. So the primary purpose and responsibility of every government is to protect the life uh, the lives of a citizen and their properties. Mm. And sometimes you would have to protect your people against their will. Huh. Because you, the government, should know better. Sometimes the people will revolt when you want to bring a new change. But sh sitting where you are, the reason you are a leader is because you know better. You should be able to say, I know this will pinch you, but I'm going ahead to do it. And not care whether they like you at the end of the day or not. There's nothing wrong with a few governments not being, um, um, you know, voted back into office. And they say, it's fine. If that is what you people want, I can do this. And I'm okay. I've served the four years and I'm good. Must you die there? That's the question. Must you serve for 15 terms before you have made impact? It's okay. What we need is um, government officials that are ready to 
have that political will to say, we must change this country. Once you get me there, I may be tough. You may not like me, but this and this and this is the way to go. And they cite examples of how it's been done in other places mm. that we admire. We love those places, but they don't do handouts the way we do here. We, they are not as entitled as we are here. What they hold government accountable for is the basic amenities. And once they have it, everybody has the capacity to go and make their own money. Just give them what they need. And that is sometimes they think that what they need is that handout, that fish. Just give it to me now. Let me eat, feed my children, and I'm good. We are not thinking collectively. And it's the government's job to help us think collectively and force it, mm. whether we like it or not, till right. we get to that place where we begin to appreciate it. So this uh, one um, uh, House of Reps member now who is complaining, if he has, for instance, you know, decides to have that conversation with a few of them, like him, and they say, okay, we will vote you out. Vote me and the next person will still not do it. Let me see how many people you will vote out okay. at the end of Let the day. Let me take this call and we'll take a few comments on social media. Good morning from Awode. You're live. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. The truth is that most of these lawmakers, they are the leaders of ideas. They don't even know what this is their constituents. I will tell you, I don't constitute in your state, in Liberia and the federal constituency. For the past 15 years, there is no life. For the past, the business of governors that have been in those states, in Liger and Israel, the law of the block to far has never enjoyed life from one day to 20, 2008. Okay. Let me tell you this, man. I was watching uh, uh, this guy from Surrey in your studio before the election. And um, uh, what's his name? That's more yeah. I was telling him, how, how I was telling you guys, how you facilitate a lot of consumers in this constituency. And then you the construction of animal farm roads that lead to us to real doing and some of the area and some of the environment. Some of this lawmakers, from what the best not have said, show that some of them actually understand what it is to represent their people effectively. But the majority of them, especially those ones at the Federal House of Representatives, they are lack understanding. The only thing they think they can do to empower their youth is to buy a bicycle. Okada and um, Tekem, Tekem Affair. I'm going to buy guys driving machines for the market women. These are not effective representative priorities. If you have something to do, if you don't have anything to do, why are you coming out to go say you want to represent your people in the house of events? The consensus around them that is funny. Right. The Thank you very much, Mr. Omokwe. Well, let me take a few comments on social Mr. Otumba Karim says, we create problems for our leaders in most cases. When the demand from constituents is much, accountability and transparency is compromised. Mm -hmm. If politicians are to cater for personal needs of constituents, then holding the politician to give account of stewardship becomes an issue. If Mao don't chop, I go shim. And then we have another comment here. Any other one from you yeah, guys? So Oluwa um, Shimola today says, followership in Nigeria is a joke too. Followership is a form of leadership. If you cannot lead yourself as an individual, you won't be a good leader. Um, another person says, tell Nigerians you're giving out knowledge. See how many will turn up. But say you're giving out food, people go plenty. Mm. So um, we, that, that's one of our problem. I wanted to just say something. A parent, children will say they want the sweet things. They want chocolate. They want what? They want what they want. I want sweets. I want chocolate. Um, my seven-year-old son, when he was six, said he knows how to drive. He, can, he has watched us. He knows what to press at all the time. Because I love my, parents, my children so much, I allow them to drive and right. they have an accident. Or I give them all the chocolates they want and then they have tummy pain. You can't vote out your parents. You're stuck mm -hmm. with them for life. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so even about that. So if, if I'm putting that I want my, my children to love me, and I will give them what they want. They might not be voting me out, but they might not love me. Yeah. Because at the point in time, I'm not giving them what they want. Our politicians want to be loved by the people. Yeah. So because I want you to love me, I'll give you what you want. But what, what you, you need. But what you want would hurt you. What you want would hurt other people. That's where we are right now. Mm. We, uh, we need politicians that understand what we want, what we, what need. we, need, we need, as need. opposed to what we are saying we want. We want money, but what we need is how to make money. So don't give us the money create a structure that will enable us to make money. Yeah. It will not be sweet. We will not like you in the moment. But after a while, we will not say, hmm, Tell Jack that Conde. to the Yalojas we'll mother. Remember that... Jack Conde and That's... say, Jack Conde gave mm. us housing. Mm. Ah, we did not Very know that time. Possible. But there's some people who also criticize Jack Conde. Yeah, 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 yeah. They criticize him then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, think... yeah, go ahead, Mary. OK, so I think maybe uh, to be realistic, mm. Um, even though I do like your analogy, I don't know if it really works with politicians because it's really about your votes. Mm. You just want to come back in and then um, 
they the only way they can come back to mm. make whatever to, like to make the impact love. is if you vote them in. So the thing is, like I said in the very beginning when we started having this conversation, is that I think the best politicians try to balance it, see how they can still give what's important whilst also handing out the chocolates or mm. sweets, using your analogy, you know. So yes, I want my children to eat healthy, but <laughs> I know that they will get cranky a bit, so I'll give them a little sweets here and there. So we just need that, um, that balance. But also, we need to start talking to Nigerians. Let them also understand that it is, they determine what they get. Uh -huh. It is about them. If you don't get schools, if you don't get healthcare, if you don't, those, that's your problem. If you have a uh, little money in your hands and you're throwing parties and you're wearing a shabby and you're doing burials, that is what you've asked for and that is your problem. So when we call your uh, representatives in four years' time and we're asking them questions, don't be asking them, where is the, where is the primary healthcare center? Where, is, where are the classrooms? Because until you chopped it, Mm -hmm. You did, uh, Oga, you did yes, birthday now. with it, you yes, know? So that is, so you need to understand also that there's a cost to you, whatever it is that you end up with. Somebody was telling me, was giving me a that they went to, uh, um, they're looking for money for something. And they, they went to a politician and he gave them a certain amount. And the person reluctantly, he didn't have this money. He didn't want to give them this money, but because of many people calling, begging and begging and begging, he now gave them the money. Family said, but how much? God, how much he won't give us. Imagine. Only they know, you know how heard. hard it was for that person to find well, you. Well, you know we have heard that. Yeah. Say that how, see how much, imagine, after all the, mm -hmm. see how, see how much he said to us. They say he's the something of something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how much he, he gave much us. Said. Ah, we've heard this. Yeah, and the ones time. that after tenure, they go back home without luxury, luxury. Mm -hmm. they'll say, after eight for years. eight years old. Yeah. Not even built house. Yes. Mm. Hey. Could not even do this. Have, you, a know, have you seen family members that call out their family yes, members? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, do. Please do that. Pocket your integrity. Yeah, we don't want want integrity. Please <laughs> throw it away. Exactly. No, I've had those conversations. I've yeah. had those conversations. <laughs> what was it feeling like? Yeah. After eight years, we yes. can, can, can we see it? Yes. What, what is it? That is, why, that is why the government must help them mm. to enforce. See, the government does not owe you your wants and your desires. If you want it that bad, go get it. Mm. If you desire it that bad, go work for it. But your needs, the government will help you to give a, a, a footing so that you can balance and satisfy go. what you are meant to be yeah. doing. However, anybody who comes home and they're asking you, come on, you did not do this, you did not yeah. do that, tell them I went there to work and that's all I did. We have to wrap up. Let me just find them. Okay. end up with them. Engineer Ajibola Tijani's uh, PhD's mm. comment. He said that um, this issue race has been a cultural thing for years. Once you see an individual appointed to any position, their kinsmen celebrate such appointment, not because they are sure of the appointee's capability, but because they have a representative in government. So whatever such person does in the office must be able to support them. Okay, let's go on a break. We have to wrap up. But I think in a nutshell, what we're saying is that it's two-sided, really. The, appoint the, 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 the House of Representatives member also has an obligation to his constituents to actually bring the dividends of democracy to his people, not to single, not, not to individuals who are close to him, but to the community at large. And we as a people need to also stop demanding a requesting of our politicians to give us things. You know, we should understand that they are there to work. I've shared this story many times where I know a politician where he was so excited to work. And he said, oh, they, they look at the purse. They, they had that, that month, they had 37 million in his, in his small constituency to spend. Mm -hmm. He thought that they were going to come and work. And then, out of the 37 million, Bill. 35 was for salamites. Imagine. We're doing a salamite. Imagine. A we all collect now. We know what we are doing. See their faces. Are we doing all collect? But the whole, we all collect the whole state. Uh, doing salad. But the whole get? state did not get the round now. Saying, what I'm saying is, mm. people, different people get salamites. Not me. I didn't get. What well, I'm saying, Nigerians, everybody <laughs> yeah. who gets salami. Not everybody got but, it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Not everybody, everybody got, got it. Twenty that got that it. Got what it. I am, I have access to what the I am That's saying all. is that the man himself, he was, he was, he was in, personally disappointed that 99.9 percent .9 of the money was because of. Did they force him? No, no, no. He was he, disappointing him. He chose yeah. to give salami. The people that he gave the go, um, goat meat or ram meat, did they, did they put a go to ask head? him? He chose that because he wanted okay, love. Let us wrap up on this matter. <laughs> that you is bring all that we can take. <laughs> I thought I could end with this. No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> with our next segment, <laughs> stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.